I cannot deliver the mandate on which I was elected by the Conservative Party. I have therefore spoken to His Majesty the King to notify him that I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. According to Trust, there will be a leadership election to be completed within the next week and that she will remain a caretaker Prime Minister until a successor has been chosen. Trust's resignation came after the mini-budget, the fiscal plan announced by her government last month, caused economic chaos and tanked the ruling Conservative Party's poll rating. The mini-budget, which contained controversial debt-funded tax cuts, has been blamed for plunging the British pound to a 37-year low against the US dollar, while pushing up the cost of government borrowing and mortgage rates. I can't say I was surprised by Ms Truss's resignation, because she clearly lost power. Her programme of government would be completely undermined, and therefore the clear message coming from her own backbenchers was that her time was up. The impact on the Conservative Party in the last few weeks is going to be pretty horrific for them because it's exposed huge divisions within the party. It's going to be very hard to stitch that back together again. Meanwhile, the leaders of the three largest opposition parties, Keir Starmer of the Labour Party, Ed Davey of the Liberal Democrats and Nicola Sturgeon of the Scottish National Party, have all called for an immediate general election. Whether the Conservative Party would consider bringing forward a general election is, I think, unlikely. The mere fact that they made things worse during this very short period of this trust in number 10 diminishes their chances of securing a, a victory in the next general election. The performance has been poor, pretty awful. I'm relieved that she has resigned, but I also think it's time that the government resigned and allow the electorate in the country to have a general election. We need a new government, not just a new Prime Minister. I don't think this current government is capable of making the change that the country needs. Well, it's obviously been a very difficult time for Prime Minister Liz Truss. The financial markets struggle, the value of the pound against international currencies fell, and I think the confidence in her as a result started to crumble in a really relatively short time. So I have never seen Parliament in such disarray as we have at the moment and we certainly hope whoever takes over will be able to steady the ship and help the United Kingdom develop a, a sound policy.